Hello everyone, this is Yakuro and welcome to another episode of the video series using Codelight as the primary IDE for the Unreal Engine 4 on Linux. There is a new version of Codelight out, the version 9, and everyone who is already using Codelight, I recommend to switch to that because the macro bug got fixed. And what does that mean? So if you had some if dev sections in your source code and you specified uh, those macros outside your source code, uh, Codelight couldn't sh uh, highlight those areas, it didn't work. But now that got fixed and it works and let me show you that. So I prepared here a project and I'm gonna open it and you can see I have the Niner version now and then let me open this file there is a nice section to show which is this for example we have here some macros just to define and so I'm on a GNU Linux system and usually this part should just be highlighted and of course now the code completion and coloring got switched off let me switch that on you do that here select and you see everything is just gray so it it didn't work it was like this and the reason was if you click here to workspace settings the values couldn't be stored in this field and it didn't synchronize with the parser somehow. Now that got fixed, which is cool. And I'm going to show you what you have to do now to, to work with the uh, macros. Um, so you might have noticed it or not. Every time you create a code light project file, um, Unreal Build Tool will create this workspace of course and two additional files this one and this so my project name is here my project 2 and then you'll see something like this my project 2 code completion folders and my project 2 code light preprocessor so you open this one I'm not gonna explain them now because that's not the topic for now just open this copy the content and then right click here go to workspace settings and paste it into this field if you want you can select those two then you say ok and now you'll see didn't work <laughs> so what is this guy talking the whole time no no what you have to do is just restart codelight again and then the magic will happen uh, let me open it again platform info oh, this again and voila you see that so now it is correctly highlighted so I'm on a GNU Linux system so Ubuntu 14.04 um, and now I can see that the field is correctly highlighted and this will of course work now in every source file with every uh, uh, macro uh, defined in the code which is really cool and yeah that's something I thought I like to share with you guys if you have comments or suggestions or whatever feel free to write it in the channel other than that, I wish everyone happy coding and see you next time.